Hello everyone and welcome back to another J-Rock video. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Weebang 48 Legacy Pro, um, what is 19 inch cut. And basically all I'm going to be doing today is, well today and over the course of the next couple of weeks, is I'm going to be testing it on my normal gardens. And I'm also going to be doing it on this sort of rough cut area here, where it's kind of up to sort of 7 inch in height in places, down to sort of like 3 inches. So generally what you'd expect maybe for a first cut of the year, or going into winter, something like that. It's also been raining the last sort of 12 hours, so the grass is wet. Between the two white posts that you can see here, and um, what I'm going to do, they're marked out at 10 meters. So I'm going to do 100 meters squared, what is round roughly the average size garden in the UK. So this um, model here is the one with the blade brake clutch, okay, shown off by the two levers here. You've obviously got the drive bar and you've got the BBC. The way that you engage it, as you can see here, it doesn't make any sort of audible click, it's just flat. What you need to do is you need to press that forward first, and then when you bring it back, it makes like a click. And that prominent click then engages it, and what that'll do is it'll start the blade. So as soon as you come off that, you can't just re-engage it, so it's a safety feature. Following on from that, what we have is the very powerful Kawasaki FJ180 engine. All right, pretty much up there in the world of engines, and obviously Kawasaki is just brilliant by itself, okay? Main rival to Honda. Yeah, you look in here and the body of it is just absolutely bulletproof. You've got nice thick wheels on the front and you've also got that front bumper bar. Um, hopefully never really having to use it. But um, I know the hair as things like that can come with additional sidebars. I'm not too sure about this one. Going on from there, you've also got your change in heights listed, like you can see. And that'll also, also just sit in, either in between or on the height. Nice and easy. And obviously, one handle adjust as what you want. You don't want to be fiddling there with four separate ones. So also upon that, you've got easy change of the height of handles here, just simply push and release of them, and that'll go basically up and down the way you like it. And also a solid rear roller. Looking back there, it's also split. So hopefully coming in with the ease of turning. So enough yapping, large grass bag, I believe it's 70, 75 liters. I'll stick that in the corner here. But what I'm gonna do is like I say, get some, some stripes laid down. Let's see, check the, the type of cut the finish it leaves and also how it picks up this sort of damp grass so keep watching nice and easy we've got the easy reach pull cord so what i'm going to do is flick that to choke easy pull cord Right, so I want to do a nice honest review here. So that's just three strips, what was cutting pretty well. And then it's ended up clogging with quite a lot. So I am there currently, bear in mind from about six, seven inches down to 47. What isn't too bad, what I'm gonna do is for the next lot, I'm gonna put it up to 67 mil watts, it's the max height of cut. And I'm gonna see how it gets on there, if it clogs, if it drops, that sort of thing. So you're looking about 40 square meters there of kind of up towards seven inches of growth to be honest and i mean that is not full uh, the bag is not full if i just take it off yeah and see that how i'm showing that there's still loads in there loads of room i think what it is i've just cut it's just that longer grass so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to take that off i want to keep it at the cutting height that i am now what is 67 the highest setting and we'll see how it gets on towards the end So far so good, that's striped up really well. What I'm gonna do is move it from speed two up to speed three and see if I can continue this pickup while it's moving at its fastest pace out of the three seconds. So that's first pass there. You got to remember here that was up to around seven inches, and towards the end it hit that height again. But this is the this is the um, the finish you've got. I mean, what you've got to look at is that's what it looked like all before, 
and this is just a rogue field if you just take it on someone's services and it was first cut the year and your lawn looked like this in december or january february march whenever it might be you come in for your first cut and this is what you're walking into don't care who you are you're going to be happy so what i'm going to do just for the last of it is i want to do a second cut of this but just to show you because of the bagging complaints i had that's now more or less hit the full bag and it was only just starting to leave a bit of residue so again like i say i want to fly over this second cut so it's a double cut i want to see how it looks I mean, you got to look at that finish. Yeah, I was saying just then, if that's what your garden looked like beforehand, and that's what it looked like now, yes, it isn't spectacular. It's cut the highest height of 67 millimeters, but it's good, I'm happy. Also, if you look at how it's picked up the grass this time, fair enough, this is a double cut, but if you look in there, it all went, two that, sorry. It all went straight to the back of the bag and the shoot is clean so main pickup points on this just to the puzzles it's strong it's got a great cut and needs a great finish the stripes speak for themselves puts the stripes into the lawn very well it's got a huge grass collector now if it was dry and the conditions were even just fine it's sogging today absolute sogging um, then it would pick up absolutely no bother, even with it being soggy like it is today, I and mean, like I said we just had 12 hours of rain, um, it still picks up fine, it, doing good to adventurous on um, taking the higher cut down. The negatives, it's weight, it's heavy, turn in circles, so on my own personal lawn, tried it out, and it's a bugger to turn in small spaces, but if you've got them sort of 100 meter squared onwards gardens, this is going to save you so much time because it's just powerful, it's got really comfortable walking speed and it's just an all round good solid mower. It's pricey, but it's powerful and it stripes very well. But don't expect it to just go like I did there from six to nine inches of grass length down to sort of an inch and a half, well, two inches and it'd be fine. Right, hello then. So we're here at the first property of, I think, two or three that I'm going to end up using the Wee Bang on to review. And what we have is, you can still slightly see the diagonal stripes of the last cut, what was done with the four-wheeler. We've now got the four, uh, the Wee Bang with the roller down ready to cut. And what this property is, it's got multiple levels. So as you can see over here, we've got a two-step and a second two-step with obviously a wavy path. So if it's ever going to be a pain, then it's going to be on this one. But I'm going to try it alongside the ramps that you've just seen and um, we're going to see how easy it is to not only cut and the review on that but how it is getting around the garden and around the obstacles. So keep watching. realize there but the gap between the base of the path and sort of your shrub area them ramps are two meters to be able to kind of get them up and it just wouldn't have fitted so that's the next best option is sort of just levering it i would say if you're not heavy-handed then this would just be completely pointless and like i wouldn't even try it um if you don't mind kind of lifting things then it doesn't feel like it was too much of an effort but yeah it definitely needs uh, a bit of um, lumping about to get it up them sort of steps.
Right then, so a quick summary on garden number one. Stripes really well, picks up really well. Overall, really happy with the cut. The machine is very heavy. Little one steppers like this, getting up and down here is absolutely fine. No dramas at all. Although it is a heavy bit of kit. Turning on it's absolutely fine as well. Maneuvering around the little bends down the side here and around the top was no problem at all. If you're going up things like this, two steps and it's narrow spaces, because of the overall length, but getting down there was an absolute nightmare. So narrow spaces and narrow turns, no, it's very heavy. Positives, stripes really well, picks up really well and does a great job. Happy with that, on to the next property. up on this one and this is what the bagger looks like so on the other ones where i was a little bit disappointed this one's went full to the brim and there is literally not much more room in there and it hasn't spilled out over any of the lawn so nice clean finish throw everywhere else Right, hello everyone. So you've seen all that footage. Remember that's over the case of a week from that first clip that you've seen on the field. It's now been a week onwards where I've been using it. I did five properties today with it, with it that I've just videoed for you. And all different spaces and shapes that I've basically got to get an all-round 360 view of what this mower is like in different conditions. I've actually done a lot of cutting in the wet as well, as well as the dry, because later on today it has sort of dried up. So I've seen both benefits and some negatives as well with that. But what I'll say first, please, if you can, just like this video. Massive help for me. And in this box down below here, you can see how to subscribe. Please do that as well and try and get me towards that 1K. Um, so the main negatives, it's heavy. You've got to remember, this is 65 kilogram. And then once when you put a full tank of fuel on top, what's about two and a half kilogram. And then you've got a full uh, catch out of grass. You're looking in at the 70s it's very heavy um so in the clip where you see with the double stepped that first garden nightmare if all my gardens was like that I, I would honestly send this back and i would get something smaller 16 inch something like that that I can still get up and down stairs but on the back of that the the weight doesn't then disrupt you when you moan so as soon as you get it on the grass it's it's brilliant i don't think i honestly don't think there'll be much matching it or at least beating it it cuts fantastically it's got lots of power when you're going over sort of longer and i'm talking 12 18 inches of grass and um, so very longer patches there's no dip in power it goes straight through it it stripes really well it's just all around a good solid mower the handles are fully adjustable so it's not on a notch system where you can only go to three four levels it can literally be from its lowest point to its highest point and you can fix them in to whatever you prefer it's just very user friendly uh it's just overall a very good mower another thing that i found with it is getting it on and off the van i didn't like it to begin with i thought this is going to be a pain it's heavy you know i was using the roller to engage it to get some momentum to get it up there you don't need it um i've soon found all i do is lift the roller a little bit at the back and i give it a good push with the wheels and it, it gets up the ramp no bother so on and off the van it isn't a drama Someone said in the comments, uh, wait until you cut five, six lawns with it and then let me know how you feel. I don't feel like I've done anything more than use that 25 kilogram Husqvarna that I've got. So 
it honestly doesn't play much of a of a role because as soon as you're on that grass it's absolutely fine as you've seen with um me picking up the leaves it never did much of a more amazing job to be honest than the husqvarna i think the bagging system is all right i think it's pretty average i don't know what the difference would be between the roller and the four wheeled but this one just seems to be average um like i say i think as soon as we the big test would be on a very long overgrown dry lawn say or with lots of wet leaves and how that would cope then but sadly i can't film over the case of a year and then get back to you um but for now as this week review it picks up all right it's got plenty of power it leaves a great stripe it's heavy as anything but if you can bear with that and you're handy enough to be able to get it onto the lawn no bother then you won't regret using this it's absolutely spot on so thank you very much for watching please like comment subscribe any further questions that i haven't answered here stick them below in the box and i'll answer them for you any other reviews also just let me know thank you very much for watching this was a j-rock lawn care and garden video and i'm sam and see you next time